Here we go again. Hello, my name is Nathan, and welcome back to another episode of Uncut. Today, we will be making salmon, because I like salmon, and it was what was in my freezer last night, and I defrosted it. So, we're gonna be doing salmon with a courgette, lemon, and capers. Uh, and some potatoes, but they're inside on the stove right now. So it's gonna be a grilled piece of salmon on the barbecue. No seasoning, apart from salt, obviously. To upset everyone that likes to, you know, cover their stuff in 5,000 spices. Just a beautiful grilled piece of salmon in a caper, chili, lemon, sort of little dressing. It's gonna be very similar to the mackerel dish I did because it's fish and it's simple grilled ingredients. And then we're gonna do some grilled courgette, which in other countries is called zucchini. Here, we call it courgette, um, yeah. And we're gonna be doing it with some creme fraiche chive potato sort of mash, smash little thing, just cause you know, some carbs is good. Uh, so yeah, salmon, potato, zucchini courgette, and a little caper, chili shallot, lemon dressing situation. It's gonna be fucking delicious. Now, I read the comments in the last video about the barbecue. They were advising me on some stuff and I've gone ahead and done that. And I've actually had a few barbecues off camera and it's worked really well. So thank you for all those comments from you barbecue experts. The barbecue's nice and hot now. We've got all the embers and we're ready to grill this stuff. So first of all, I think we're just gonna crack on with the dressing and some prep work. So for this, I'm making up as I go along. Um, we are going to, first of all, use this lovely pestle and mortar, which was in my uh, pesto video. And if you don't have a pestle and mortar, don't worry. You don't have to use one. Um, yeah, you can just chop all the ingredients up or use a blender. But I prefer the more rustic feel you get from this. So we're gonna go with a dried bird's eye red chili, which I've dried myself over the last few weeks. And just to help sort of speed up the process of breaking this up, we're just gonna cut it up into little pieces just cause you know, that's gonna speed up the process. And in that goes, uh, the ends can return back to nature. Might get a chili plant next year, doubt it. Right, so just wanna start breaking up some of these seeds. And I'm not too fussed if this is rustic. Also, whilst we're talking, we're gonna talk about why I've been absent. Also, it is hot today in England. It's about 21 degrees, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but you know, we use degrees here. I'm stood next to this. I've got the sun beaming down on me. I'm in some long clothes, I guess. If I get my top off halfway through, you're welcome. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about my little leave of absence. Um, if you are new here, which I've gained, I think like 20,000 subscribers since I actually posted my last video, my last, my last long video, which is just incredible. So thank you for everyone that's shown the support. Um, I'm actually a TikTok chef. I hate to use that terminology, but it is what it is. I've been making TikToks for the last year and a half on the TikTok platform, creating short form content. And that is what you have seen in the shorts, which has gained my recent traction. Um, I've just been reposting old content, some of my better content, I believe, on the Shorts channel, on here, on the, the options. So that's what I've been doing, just repurposing some of my favorite content. But my passion really lies in creating long form content. But I gained some traction doing short form content on TikTok. I have, I think, just over 350K followers on there. Um, but recently, this last few months, I've really, really, really hated making TikToks. And it's a shame as well, because I had such a, a great audience there and I enjoyed it for some period of time, but it got to a point when I just wasn't enjoying it and it was becoming a chore. Oh, by the way, we're going in with some delicious capers now. Um, probably that many, I don't think you can see, but that's about, that's a level tablespoon. And these are big capers as well. We're gonna put these in and the liquid is just gonna, not with too much liquid. In fact, very little liquid. Um, and we're gonna crush those in to the chili as well. And that's gonna help break down the chili as well. So yeah, um, 
I just I just hated doing it. And it became a chore and I had a lot of personal stuff in my life. It's why I've taken a break from YouTube. There's been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that I've just been trying to work out. Um, a bit of like mental health stuff I just wanted to get through. Uh, I've got some financial stuff just going on in my personal life and you know, my missus uh, just got a job, so we I was, you know, trying to support her with that, and just a, a magnitude of multiple things. Me not enjoying making videos, being in a stressed personal life situation, just wasn't working out, so I decided to just disappear for a bit off TikTok and here as well. And I didn't think I'd be the back already making a video. I honestly thought I was gonna take the rest of the year off, and I still might. I just really fancied making a video today because it was good weather, and I was in a good mood, good spirit. So yeah, I decided to make a video. So right now we're just crushing down these capers, and making a nice little paste. And this is gonna dress basically the whole dish. So we really wanna work this down with the chili. All right, fantastic. We're gonna set this aside now. And obviously we're gonna put in things now that we don't wanna grind down. So I wanna very finely chop, very finely dice, sorry, this little shallot but yeah so i put a little community post up on uh, on my youtube and i just want to say thank you to everyone that's commented and shown some love and support it got to a point when i physically couldn't turn on the camera in fact i tried to uh try to film a few like short form nice little quality tiktoks and i hated it i really just didn't enjoy doing it uh, which isn't what i want to do because I've been making videos since I was 12. I've been cooking in kitchens since I was 14. Um, and these are two things I absolutely love doing. I love making videos. I love cooking. So it's the perfect thing. And the reason I stepped out of the chefing industry was because I was very stressed and I just, I wasn't happy in it. And I didn't want to lose my passion for food. So I stepped out probably just in the right time because I didn't want to lose my passion for food. I hated being a professional chef, but I still luckily enjoyed cooking good food. So it almost has become the same with filming videos now and social media. I always enjoyed making videos, always enjoyed cooking. And after 200 plus videos in the last year, it just got too much. And with other things going on in my life, it was just all sort of like coming down on me a little bit. So anyway, that's enough for this fucking sob story. Let's, uh, let's dice this. So we've got nice, little, fine, sort of dice. I also need to get a bigger table because this table fits my chopping board perfectly, which I think looks quite cool. It looks aesthetic, but it's not very practical because I can't go and grab other ingredients, but we move on. So key to getting a nice fine chop on any vegetable is a sharp knife. A sharp knife will always get you places. Also, I don't recommend chopping sitting down. Try not to sit down. You got more chance of cutting yourself, less control. Do it on your work surface. But I like being out here. I'm gonna add this shallot straight to the capers. Right, so now we don't really want to be crushing everything else. So scrape everything we have, get all your edges. Now we have a little situation going on here. I'm gonna move the camera a bit closer when I'm grilling the fish and everything, but I've also forgotten my tripod. I've left it at work, so you're currently balanced on some sugar. All right, so shallot, caper, chili. I'm gonna go in with some lemon. A lot of lemon and good quality olive oil. Now we're not going to season this with salt because the capers are going to be very salty already. But we're going to hit it with lots of fresh black pepper. And before we serve this, um, I'm going to add a large quantity of finely chopped. Chives. All right, I hope I'm in focus, but uh, yeah, 
This is what we're dealing with. And this is gonna be dressed over the fish at the end. All right, so as you can tell, that's my little setup here. And this is where I was filming. I tried to bring an assortment of objects to balance this camera on. Another thing that was just, I thought this is a perfect time to explain um, why I haven't been making videos as well is because this camera is broken. Um, it's recorded the last 13 minutes of this video, which you've just seen. But right now, I don't know if you can see this, it is just absolutely spamming out. The electronics are gone. It's an A7 II. Probably has a shut account of like half a million and I've used it my entire professional career, but it's this camera's just fully gone and I'm surprised I've managed to get 13 minutes of recording time out of it. So that was another reason, just like a physical thing that was holding me back from my videos and was putting me off recording. So that's just a real world thing that I need to do and of course because I was explaining about my financial thing I can't afford to get a new one I can't afford to shell out two grand on a new camera and uh, yeah I used to vlog on my actual phone like I am right now and it's just also that's not practical to make videos with regularly it sounds like a first world problem sounds like I'm ungrateful but you know I've I've used the, the equipment I've got and I'm trying to utilize it but uh yeah We'll sort it out. All right, about 20 minutes later, it's working again. We're gonna just try and whiz through this before this camera just dies on me. Um, zucchini, courgette. We're just gonna cut it up into slices and we're just simply grilling it today. I wanna do nice thick slices though, because I don't want them to go too flimsy, like when they go soft and everything. I don't mind that they do that, but um, I don't want no wafer thin thing that's just gonna fall apart and disintegrate. I actually want something that's got a bit of bite to it. So just on a nice little diagonal and uh, yeah, five slices should be enough for a portion. Next, we are moving on to the salmon, which is in my fridge. I'm gonna go get the salmon. Now this beautiful piece of salmon is from Hodgson's. Um, they're a Yorkshire based company. I used to, cook with their fish a lot when I was working in the restaurants back in North Yorkshire. My mum brought this down for me. And uh, yeah, so shout out mum for the salmon. Thank you very much. Right, I'll take it out of the backpack bag. And put it straight on to the plate. Now, I have no idea if this is gonna work. I've never grilled a piece of salmon on a barbie before. I imagine the skin's gonna stick and it's all gonna fall apart, but it's gonna taste fucking delicious, mate. So, we do need to pat dry this piece of salmon. We want no moisture on it, otherwise that will stick. And all we're gonna do is hit this piece of salmon with first some salt from a nice height, just on the skin. Flip it over and on the top. Now, back over, and just a touch of oil, just to give a little barrier. I'm gonna place this directly onto the grill. This sticks and all goes to shit, I don't care. I'm still gonna show you, and I'm still gonna eat it. And uh, hope for the best. Now, because I wasn't recording for about 10, 15 minutes and I didn't make a big barbecue today, I think I've actually lost quite a lot of heat because at the time of recording, about half an hour ago, this barbecue was probably optimum temperature. I think I've lost a bit of the heat. So I'm gonna stick the lid straight on now to keep the heat in. I uh, completely forgot to put the courgette on. Courgette, we're gonna lay it out. Oil. Salt, straight onto the grill. All right, so, potatoes. Everything's cooking now. I'm sat on a knife. These potatoes, just baby new potatoes, fully cooked all the way through. You can see they're hot, still steaming. Um, yeah, I probably cooked a few too many actually. I'm just gonna remove a few. Very simple, we're gonna do something very delicious here. We're gonna do, uh, pretty much like sour cream and chives, except for we're gonna use creme fraiche, because creme fraiche is more delicious. So, potatoes, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna smash these with a fork. And we wanna keep these a bit rustic. I understand smashed potatoes on a plate in a ring is a bit 1990s 
early 2000s sort of plating technique that is but uh i really genuinely love these like this is almost the same recipe i use for uh, loaded potatoes as well except for i do use sour cream in that one but today i wanted to use creme fraiche so we have the potatoes nicely smashed up and uh, we're just gonna hit these with a bunch of salt plenty of fresh black pepper very important guys that when you're doing black pepper you always are freshly grinding it rather than using like pre-ground black pepper and try to invest in a good quality pepper mill um, that was one of the best investments I made this year so just work that in and now if I can find my spoon ah I used the spoon for the dressing I'll have to go get another spoon also how's this doing nothing is hot enough Smoked fish is happening today. Right, creme fresh. One big dollop. In the go. And let's put this down. Move this. I need a bigger table. And a new camera. Chives. I bloody love chives. I think they're absolutely delicious. And again, with herbs, just like shallots, and garlic and all your chopping to get your best quality cut from a herb you really need a sharp knife otherwise you're going to end up bruising the herbs so you just want to i'm gonna have to soak a little bit i'm gonna cut my head off a little bit but i need to just concentrate so just glide your knife through we want nice finely chopped i'm not too fussy if it's a little bit big because you know we're going for rustic here but we don't want bashed and bruised and really long pieces of chives. And I'm going to do all of this because I'm going to use half of it for the dressing as well. So half is going to go in the potatoes, half is going to go back into the dressing. If my chef who I used to work with saw me doing it like this, I'd, uh, I'd be given some shit. He said that this wouldn't be fine enough, but we're at home. We're not stressing. We've got the barbecue out. I'm going to go grab a beer. I need a beer. It's really interesting actually filming, coming back filming, because I was really, had a lot of anxiety about doing it. Wasn't sure how it was going to go, and even with a little mishap with the camera and a little 10, 20 minute break, because I couldn't film. I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying this, but it still is giving me a bit of, a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of just nervous feelings. All right, so, chives, beautiful. Absolutely love chives. Half of them into there. This is what it's about. Just simple flavors done well. Eating good food at home. Everybody's happy. And you don't want to serve this too warm either, guys. Like, my potatoes are being cooked for like 15 minutes on the side now. They're still hot in the middle, and this is still a warm mash, but you don't want to serve it piping hot. Otherwise, you're going to start to like cook and bruise the, uh, the chives, and, and the creme fraiche isn't really going to stay fresh and creamy. It's, it's going to blend in. Which is fine if you're going to do a hot mash or something like that and maybe bake it in a nice pie on top of something. But um, yeah, you want to keep it nice and light and fresh. Skin on. Got a bit of texture running through there. Absolutely delicious. All right, time to check on this. How's it doing? <coughs> now, we don't have the char marks I really wanted. But it's okay. And I know that's my mistake again because of the temperature of the, uh, the barbecue, but we learn and next time, hopefully we're gonna get it up to temperature. And I, I, and I know I did have it up to temperature, but because I didn't use too much coal today, I probably only had that temperature for a certain amount of time and I probably should have cooked it at that time. But um, because of the camera situation and it not working for a while, we lost that optimal temperature and now it's on its way down. Ah, we have some stuck skin. And I think that is just because it wasn't hot enough, so the skin has um, sort of rendered onto it from what I can see. You know, this happens. If we don't have a beautiful piece of crispy skin, fuck it, shit happens. Do you know what? I'm gonna happily admit, we've lost the skin. I fucked up. The grill just wasn't hot enough. But because we've got the skin stuck there, it's almost baked now. So 
the fish is gonna come off the skin and we're just gonna leave the skin there. We'll burn it off. If I can peel it off later, fine, whatever. But as opposed to like trying to rip it now with some pieces of flesh, some pieces of skin that are gonna come with it, I'll leave it. And in fact, I'll just take all the fish off, leave the skin there, and it still leaves you with a nice whole piece of fish, which, you know, is a rescue of sort. So uh, yeah, we move on. I'm getting a beer. All right, so I went to get a beer and the camera broke again. So in all honesty, guys, I don't know when the next uncut video will be out because, because I don't know when I'm gonna get my next camera. Honest. Courgette, zucchini. Now, of course, we're here for the big boy flavor. So, dressing. Now, I added those extra chives in already. This is gonna go straight on. Do you know what? I'm happy. All right, so. We've got the zucchini, we've got that dressing on top, and as you can see, it's starting to run down a little bit. You've got those potatoes, and the nice salmon there, and uh, that's not looking like a bad dish, you know. I'm happy with the way that that's turned out. I just spilled over my beer after breaking my camera. Life's great. That's fucking delicious. That dressing is giving me a life right now. Guys, thank you very much for everyone that's watched this video. If you got this far, if you could give it a like, that would be fucking beautiful. And if you're not already, subscribe. Turn them notifications on because, you know, you never know when I might upload. Could be, could be tomorrow could be in six months i guess we'll find out um big love to you all stay hydrated stay hungry i'll see you later